Tip number three: Sample preparation. When preparing the sample, ensure to obtain a good representation of the batch by mixing the sample well. Once the sample is transferred into the sample tube, ensure to clean the walls for an accurate result. This ensures the sample is properly kept within the heating zone during the degassing process, and also it keeps the sample intact when using the filler rod. If the sample does not contain micropores, a rubber stopper prevents contamination when transferring a sample tube from a degas port to an analysis port. If the sample is moisture or air sensitive, or if it is highly porous, then a check seal or trans seal should be used. Check seals minimize the exposure to atmosphere by sealing the opening of the tube when it's being transferred from the degas unit to an instrument. Trans seals allow the sample to be under vacuum during the transfer. Here's a list of different tube sizes with their respective sample capacity available for different instruments. The advantages of each instrument will be covered in more detail in tip number ten.